what is runtime checks in ngrx and how it can save you lots of time in debugging we'll see in this video hi everyone this is subrat and you are watching fun of heuristic so on this channel you will get to know about the programming languages the framework and all about the algorithm so please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet the runtime checks as name says it checks in the runtime that the developer is following your ngrs concepts or your readers concepts or not one of the concepts is you should always have your action type as unique because that is the identifier for your action and another one will be your immutability of your state and some more checks and it may sound pretty obvious and you can say that without using our runtime checks my application is working perfectly it will not affect your application but it can affect your uh, debugging time or development time because i have already wasted 3 hours and the reason was i have created two action with the same type if i had enabled those checks in my application then it would have saved me 3 hours and that's a lot and to see that we'll go to our code and here in our app module.ts you can see in our store module.for root we have our reducer and our meta reducer you can add your runtime checks here so we have all this runtime checks and by default these two runtime checks is enabled like your state immutability and your action immutability and that you can see in your console like if you have tried to edit your uh, state it will show you an error in your console and the same for your action but which can save you a lot of time is our state action type uniqueness to true so by default it is false so if you are not using any runtime checks it is false and if you put two action type as same it will not going to throw you an error so i will show you that so we'll go to our movie action and here i'll just try to make this two action name similar and now if you'll go to our application here if you see i will refresh it again everything is working fine till you will just try to add a movie when i'll just hit add movie we are getting detect unserializable action at movie but think like you don't have any idea that you have two action at the same type then it will be a time taking task to detect that and i will just make this to true and if you go to the application here you see nothing is loading and in the beginning itself we are getting action type r registered more than once and it's giving you the action type this two action we are repeating and that's the reason our application is not working so this will going to save you a lot of time lot of testing time lot of debugging time and it will makes your life easier and now we'll see about our other runtime checks like our strict state reliability so what it checks is your state should be serializable or not like if you made this true then it will make sure that your state is serializable and one example is in your state you can add a date object like if you add a new date which is not serializable then it will going to show you an error at the runtime and the solution will be you just change that date to a string value or convert that to a json and it will become serializable and the same for the action your action should should be serializable like you are calling a method inside your action that action is not serializable so you can act on that and this is a important one like your street action with your ng zone and what is checks is when you dispatch an action or when you trigger an action your action should be dispatched with your change detection and if you don't know about change detection in angular and how it works and what is ng zone and how you can take its help to improve your application then we have a video i will link the videos in the card please go ahead and watch that one those are pretty helpful to improve your application performance so as i'm saying your state action with ng zone will check your action are dispatched with your change detection so in our ng zone you can run a block of code outside angular so that it will not be a part of your change detection cycle and it will improve your application performance so if you are dispatching any action inside that means if you are dispatching any action which is running outside angular then it will going to throw you an runtime error because that will cause a problem and it can save you lots of time i will summarize it we have our six built in runtime checks and by default this two will be true so if you are not using 
your runtime checks also then also your angular or your ngrx will going to check your state immutability and your action immutability so that's it for today guys today we saw what are our built-in runtime checks available to us by ngrx and how it can be a lifesaver so please hit the like button if you are liking the video till now and please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss future videos Please do share this video among your friends, family, colleague and let them know how they can use the runtime checks to make their life easier. And please give some valuable comment in the comment section below. Those are pretty helpful. We're going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.